Okay, so I'll be your MC for tonight. Hi, no. I'm Josephine. And I'm Fred. Okay, so um, are you guys happy to be in the house of God tonight? All right, all right, make some noise on the Lord. Uh, my co-host, my anchor lady said, uh, we are having a talent show. And in this place tonight, we have a lot of uh, different talents from different towns. So just be prepared. Uh, you might have to dance at a point. Uh, different talents. So at this point. Okay, so uh, we have a pretty lady, actually. Um, she is a young lady. Very young lady. Um, my <laughs> this young lady has got a lot of talent. She has talent for words. She can articulate very well. So um, we want to invite uh, Kitsu from vacation but a long-lasting vacation into the land of righteousness into a land of right standing with God Amen. I embrace offering you a break and not just a break and not just a temporary vacation but a long-lasting stay in the land of righteousness in the land of right standing with God Amen. in this land not only are people free to do anything that they please not only are people free to communicate articulate themselves with the owner of the land but the people get to be called the sons and daughters they get to be called his adopted children Amen. this privilege of sonship and daughtership comes with the confession of faith that his son is your lord and personal savior Amen. this confession and conviction of God sets you free and opens you to the gate of freedom sets you free and it makes you set you free from the sin bondage that existed between the owner and you. Amen. In this land, because of me, grace, otherwise known as unmerited favor, through me and only through me can the citizens of the land enjoy the fruit of the land. Through me and only through me can the citizens gain access to the abundant and victorious life which has been handed and freely delivered to them by the Son. See, uh, the sun is not just only a prince sitting and waving, making wishful thinking, rules and regulations. He is also known as the Savior, the Messiah, the Redeemer. He is your boy, yes, the boy, yes, of your time. He is came to redeem you. He did from the pool of confusion. He took you out from the pool of darkness, sinness. He put you out. He put you through his blood, which vaporizes all the sin from your heart. Making you to be stained free and free and pure as a dove. Yeah. 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 upon you, no locate you because of my teeth, no wet. But it's because of this Messiah that I've been introduced into your life. Yeah. He's not living yeah. He let in you, wrapped up in you, waiting for you to recognize me and use me, for you to fulfill your vision, your mission, your assignment. open for 
in the house of God, we appreciate talent. We appreciate talent, especially when it is being channeled towards glorifying God. So let's give God a hand of praise. SFC Varonesh, they have something special for you. We're about to sing a song, a Maldi Fungo The song is, it's about God constantly reminding us of, like, when we tend to derail, like, He's constantly calling upon us, He's constantly, he's constantly knocking on the door for us to accept. For accepting. So just listen and bless. Don't mind the voices, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
presentation. This is a place. Don't cry. Okay, so you have a sketch. Amen. Amen. The title of this um, very short sketch is The Bird Cage. It's a very simple sketch. Um, it's in two parts. The first part and then very short second part. Like one minute and less than two minutes. Now, um, two parts. But listen to every single word I'm going to play. Amen. Иванки Адеана 3.16 Ибо так возлюбил Бог мир, что отдал Сыну Своего Единородного, дабы всякий, верующий в Него, не погиб, но имел жизнь вечную. Some birds, some wild birds I just caught. Yeah? Yeah. Where did you find them from? Oh, in a field. There's a field just out there. Oh, yeah? What do you want to do with these birds? Mm, I'm going to play games with them. Games? Yeah. What kind of games do you play with wild birds? Uh, sometimes I pull a stick and poke at them. I know they go... <laughs> sometimes I run around and shake the cage and they think it's an earthquake. They like that. <laughs> oh yeah? So what do you want to do with these birds when you're done playing games with them? Uh, usually, I feed them to my cats. You feed them to your cats? My cats are wild birds. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. You know what? I am fond of wild birds. You are? Oh yeah. I would like to buy this one from you. <laughs> you want my wild birds? Oh yeah. They are good for nothing. If you open the cage, they just fly away and they can't do any tricks. I'm watching. You serious? I'm serious. Mm, 100 robots. Okay, 100 robots. Yeah, 200 robots. <laughs> oh, 500 robots. <laughs> They're wild birds. They're exotic birds. What you found them? <laughs> what you found them on that field? An exotic field. <laughs> okay, okay. Five hundred rubles, that's all I have. Little birds, little birds. Fly away now, you're free now. Free from the bondage, from this cage. Fly away. It will 
cost you your life. I know. You're willing to give your life. I am willing to do all it takes. For I am the good shepherd. The shepherd that lays down his life for the sheep. For the son of man do not wish for all men to get perished, but that they all get found. And they do not perish. Amen. Amen. The son of man has come to found to find the sheep that was lost and to make sure that no one here perishes, that we all shoot to the other side. God bless you. И потому что Он любит тебя и меня. Он добровольно склонился с небес на славу для нас. Хотя даже это стоило Ему Его слез, Его крови и Его жизни. Иоанна 10.11 Я есть пастор добрый, и пастор добрый подготовит жизнь свою за своих овец. Okay, so we invite um, a little, um, a young lady, so. um, she's called Anna from Tibier, she has a very special song. Well, this is actually a song about someone who had an opportunity to write a note to God, and it just made me wonder if each and every one of us had a chance to write a note to God. What would you write in that note? Would you write all your requests to God? Would you tell God, God, give me this, give me this. No, you just ask God for Him. And God is love. And this song talks about love. So I pray that for this place.
Amen. My second song is called I'll Follow You to the End of the Earth. So, 
How do I look? How do I look? I look good. I'm trying to change. I could fix any of my things that they lack. It's not like he's coming back tomorrow. Seriously, how long have we heard? These are the last days. It's the same old song. Now, is it just me? Or do these last days seem to be lasting kind of long? I know I'm not perfect. I've had so many. I couldn't count my thoughts, Ayala. Instead of responding to his calls, I would rather schedule him, Ayala. Whatever is wrong, I know that he can heal. But I want the cat on a thousand hills with the ability to still grab the wheel while grasping onto my own wheel. Like Jacob to Esau's hill. And so my love is based, and his love is based on how I feel. He loves me. He loves me. Not. Like pulling petals of flowers. Yes, he's coming back. But no man knows the day nor the hour. Where have you been? I've been at the altar waiting for you to repent. What happened? You lost weight? Yes. I wanted to look good for you to have me eat my daily bread. Where of heaven is who I am. But it gets scary. I think you will lose of my word, but you get by with crumbs of commentaries. You need it. I need it. A makeover. No one was attracted to me. So I dressed up with the gospel. Stayed silent. Seen sin. Saturate centuries. Shut inside your smoky eye because you know you are loved. No! I'm your cover, girl. I'm making up for your lacks and deficiencies. I am your very foundation. See, I played with you perfectly. There is no need for this. I am the revealer of all things. Don't you recall when I taught your faith? So, you see, you don't like my lashes, you don't like my nails. You don't understand. You don't understand. I took lashes for your lashes and nails for your nails. In the Lamb's Book of Life, 
some of them with names that I helped to stamp therein. The VIP section, we don't address their fame, neither do we offend. Bounce is not trip on those who are gone down the game. Besides, all of the prayer remedies have a plus one on their Well, list. tell them they won't see me by visiting you routinely. Be the example that you need a relationship with me. You are more than stained glass windows, open spills, and singers. Because if you truly want to see my church, just look in the mirror. Well, you wanted me to be fine, righteous, perfect, and eloquent. But this land seemed desolate and needed development. I exceeded your budget, so I withdrew from Tyrus back. Continue to remodel state culture and irrelevant. Silence. My girl Katrina called and said, Hurricanes and hard times came when you didn't make yourself evident. But I told you that I would never leave you nor forsake you. I hear you, but I have immediate needs. But you promised that you would wait, wait for you. Wait, what happened to your ring? My ring? Do you not remember the ring? When I called you out of darkness into marvelous light? You were it in you and not on you. It is my spirit, my very sign to remind you and the ask to whom you truly belong to. My ring, I pawned for money to get back to who I thought was my first love. He waves, and I feel the sureness of my wrong decisions shifted my view. He wanted me to see breeze so I could forget what the sun said. Next, I was convinced I didn't need to repent of my sins. He told me he could wash me with the tide that was coming in. The weather was pleasant on the Atlantic surface, but as I drew closer to his core, temperature drastically changed. Yes, I contracted an STD. He burned me at about 9,800 degrees. He was my earth. He was my world. And I'm sorry to tell you, but there is more. Do you think I wouldn't notice the symptoms and the signs and your unexplainable cravings for sins of every kind? I even heard you had trouble sleeping. Be paid me and you for the night, but joy did come in the morning sickness. And now in my pain and my morning, my weakness, me take a pill for the morning after. Coincidentally, look at right next to my box of alabaster. But I was too shameful to bring forth alabaster. I heard by lying tongues of blind men deceived you, and now planted instantly a seed of deception in you. And when you were pregnant with falsehood, it became impossible to conceive the truth. The truth made me free. But I ran back to what I was comfortable with. Being enslaved, the mind depraved. But I'm sure he don't want me now. I'm not what the price paid. They, they flogged me with whips that left my flesh stripped. I was bit with their instruments rhythmically, which caused my skin to bleed symphonies. I still remember the hooks like a chorus. They were not just 66 letters, they were a musical score which contained every note for you and I to be in one accord so that you will always have the right keys to my heart's door. Needed a sample, but I repeat saying like eating chocolate bars. And on my own tempo, I begin to embark. Instead of following your instrumentation, I drown out your heartbeats of timpani and ignore the woodwinds of your spirit. If your trumpet sounds, I wouldn't even hear it or the brush ring, because I've laid tracks upon tracks of a cappella so I can hear myself sing. Major in minor has left me scratched like broken records. Causing my life to, causing my life to, causing my life to stutter. I'm a false instructor, playing as if I'm watching the conductor. 
but it's unlawful to be your wife. Mm. Now probably never recover. My will was put to the test when I had to choose to escape. It's keeping glory up there on my flesh torment. You were the reason that I held on to the rugged cross. Like my son who was long lost, Mary, my very own mother, couldn't recognize the disfigured face of my own son, me. It's what you get on Calvary when it was done. I said I loved you. Well, I showed you. You call it crucifixion. I do. I call it proposal. Will you marry? Yes! There is no need for a third party because you have direct access to me. I don't get to worry about remembering our anniversary because I have to find a calendar with a date for eternity. Okay. I pray your grace and mercy is what I lavished upon you. You had a lot of repression, but I am able to supply the missing piece that your heart needs. And then some cry over spilled milk. I weep over spilled blood that cannot be measured in pints to count my love. My love was contingent on what was instant. I know I have to come to repentance. Father, forgive me, for I know not what I've done. I'll get myself together. I'll clean myself up. Yes. I am the only one who can make you clean. Without spots, without wrinkles, without blemish. Your bridesmaids, goodness and mercy, they will follow you. It's already finished. You are the one that I chose, even though I call men. I am coming back for you. Will you be ready or not? Let me be, they just exit me. 
you to speak with you, you to live with God, but ain't got no clue of the wonderful things he's done for me. So when I write for the Lord, I do it with a really grateful heart, but they don't know me, call me. I wrote a call, I'm grateful, I'm thankful to my one and only God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, um, the next one, the next one, the next, the next song, um, I did it in the last camp, it's called Alright, um, it's a remix of the song I did the last time, it's called Love Like Fire. Love Like Fire, so let, um, let me teach you something so that you follow me. So when I say I like in this love, I'm talking about the Father's love. I like in this love to fire from a high tension wire locked up in the bones of the Messiah. I like in this love to fire from a high tension wire locked up in the bones of the Messiah. Do you remember that? Yes. All right, let's go.
she did. Hey. <sighs> Goodbye, world. I stayed along with you. Goodbye, pleasures of men. I stayed along with you. I made up my mind to go God's way. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for meeting me here. You know, during the course of this camp, I've taken, I've taken time to think and I've decided to give you this. Yes, it's two of my decisions. You know, Jesus, sometimes I find myself in situations where I don't know how I just ended up in some things and I decided to give it all to you. You made all the right decisions after all. You know what, Jenny? Yeah? You know whoever sits here mm -hmm. has to make all the decisions. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's why I gave it to you. Are you sure about this? Yeah, Jesus, anything you say, I'll do. Yay. So if I take this in, I make all the decisions. You make all the decisions, yeah. everything, Jesus. Hey, G. Hey, Monica, how are you? Hello. Hey, how have you been? I'm fine. I'm shifted over to the other side. It was nice. What about you? My dear, it's going to be an exam. Tell me about it. I know all about that. I don't know, but all of us are not playing mixed Monica at all.
Tomorrow, oh, I have to read. What is that short week? Why are you making this so difficult? Tomorrow is Sunday. Oh. <laughs> so, exactly, I have to go to church, and after church, I have to sleep, and I don't play with that time. After sleep, I have to prepare for class on Monday. <sighs> it's very, it's very stressful. Please, just look for somebody else. Just know how to pray for her. You know I love her. Pray for her. In fact, I'm praying right now. Jenny. Yes, Jesus. What's happening? Jesus, why are you standing? <laughs> But you could fix this. Me, Jesus? No, you know exactly. You said yes, right? Yeah. And that is completely wrong. Because you, Jesus, you know me. You know I can't do that. You know I fix my nails. You know I have to do things. Yeah. I have to read for class. Yeah. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> it's written that we have to bear one another's body. Yes. And I trusted you with this. So I decided you can. Somehow you changed it. Why was that? I don't know. At that time, I just felt I could not do it. I didn't have enough strength to. Jenny, why are, you, why are you always taking back this seat? Jesus, I'm giving this seat over to you. I'm so sorry. I don't want to know what comes over me. Jenny, we're going to try this once again. Yes, Jesus. Is that okay? Yes. This time around, anything you say, I'm going to do it. 100%. Yes. Anything. Yes. What was it? Last time. Okay, Jenny. Jesus. Uh, do you remember um, you wore your roommate's shoe? And somehow you didn't tidy it up. Me? When? Uh, that was just yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Alright, okay, I did something like that. Why are you bringing it up now? You know why? You did that as a form of retaliation. No, Jesus, you know, if I be said an eye for an eye, but really, if I was about to retaliate, she was not like I've done to her. But you know what that girl does to me? I mean, she uses my things, she does not wash my clothes when she wears them. She lies on my bed, she does not make them up. She wears my shoes, she uses my plates. Jesus, that if I want to retaliate, that's not even the beginning. Honestly, that's just. I'm not going to retire. Jenny, you know that it's written that we have to forgive one another so that our Heavenly Father will forgive us. Yes, yes, I know that. But I'm not doing it. They just. Honestly, I, I don't. It's alright, Jenny. This is it. This is your decision. Yes? Are you willing to give me this? Yes, Jesus, I want to have it. Okay. You're sure about this one? Yes, I'm sure. I'm having to. Okay, then let go, Jenny. Jesus, take it. <laughs> Jenny. Yes, Jesus. Let go. I'm giving it to you, take it. <laughs> okay, now, you have to make a decision. Those little, little things, that's where we have to remember God, and I hope that God helps us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah.